we're testing the speed uh, while I'm connected directly to the Xiaomi, not my own um, Wi-Fi. Now, this is interesting because as you can see, it's speaking around 30, right? Around it's, it's as if it's capped on 30. The latency is good, 3 uh, ms, that's still nice. But the speed is somewhat capped on 30. And I'm not using a 30 Mbps connection, I'm using 75 as you can see earlier. So this is half of the speed that we're getting earlier. It's actually a little bit slower. What's up YouTube, this is Boy G back in another video. Kumusta, kumusta kayo guys? Today, I do have another thingy here from Lazada that I just purchased. Um, this is the Xiaomi Wi-Fi Repeater Pro Network Router Extender. All right, because I've been having a problem in, in our home right now, in our house. Um, meron kami sa second floor, no? Hindi abot yung signal ng Converge Wi-Fi. So I do have a Converge um, connection. Um, it's Wi-Fi though. The router is kind of buried under the table and it wouldn't reach the signal upstairs. So my wife, you know, being all gamer, um, mobile legends, having a hard time gaming wirelessly. So I thought, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to purchase this Wi-Fi extender and I've been seeing a lot of um, expensive stuff. But, you know, Xiaomi, China, right? It's pretty cheap. I just purchased this for around 500 pesos. So let's go ahead and unbox this, check it out real quick, and then I'm gonna show you how to set this up and if it really works, right? We're gonna compare the Wi-Fi capability, the Wi-Fi signal strength of this um, later upstairs once it's already installed. So let's go ahead and rip it off. Open this baby up. I hope this works. You know, if it was just 500 pesos, of course, that's still money and I, I really hope it's not like a bogus or something. I hope it works. We'll check it out. All right. So I've got that bubble wrap here again. Bubble wrap and bubble wrap. You know what? If there's only someone that like um, buys bubble wrap, I can probably sell them a lot. Right? All right. So let's set those things aside first. Okay, so this is the Xiaomi Wi-Fi Repeater Pro, right? So I did not read that. I just kind of assumed that's the one, but <laughs> that's Xiaomi Wi-Fi Repeater Pro. Look at that. I'm like reading Chinese characters now. All right, so on the top of it or in front, just, you know, clinging um, picture of the device. So it's just a little box with two antennas. On the side, again, it's just a Wi-Fi Pro there, a couple of brandings, nothing much. On the back, it's all Chinese, right? I'm actually very surprised for Xiaomi. Um, being kind of like an international brand right now, you know, they keep on exporting product to other countries, but they keep on putting Chinese character on, on their boxes. They don't like put English translation on it, right? What gives, what gives? I don't know if you do you think you have uh, some valid reason in understanding why they do that <laughs> if you do let me know and down in the comments maybe they want people to understand chinese i don't know all right let's go ahead and unbox this stuff i assume it's actually here right because you can see there's a little bit of dent here but um it's actually a seal so let's go ahead and use our knife okay got that open it's just a little box, nothing fancy, but looking good. Okay. What else have we got in the box? No charger. No, no that's not an iPhone, so. <laughs> iPhone's not giving any charger in the iPhone 12. Um, yeah, Apple stuff. All right, so it's just basically this, nothing else. Um, so let's go ahead and rip this up and that up. Be careful not to tear the antenna. It's a little bit small here. It's just plastic cover, no cable, no nothing, because this is a small device that you can plug in right away to your outlet, as you can notice. So this is the Xiaomi Pro. Again, as you can see, it's all Chinese, right? They don't really put in any English, uh, you know, just, of course, numbers, but they didn't really put any English 
letters or characters in it so okay really fancy you cannot really roll it like um 360 just about this or this yeah maybe we're gonna roll it like that all right so again um this feature you know up to 16 or more devices at the same time so you can connect multiple devices you know some of the routers out there home routers it's limited you cannot really connect a lot right but this one you can connect up to 16 or even more devices it also has an app right it, you know like a like an app for your android or your um, apple you can get it on some store um it's a it's called xiaomi home app we're gonna download that later on. I'm gonna show you where to get it, of course, and how to set it up. And they said it's amplifier as well, because it's an extender. So it's gonna amplify the Wi-Fi signal a bit up to 300 Mbps is the supported speed. So of course, if you're trying to amplify a 5G or something really, you know, better than that, it cannot do that. It's just up to 300 Mbps. Of course, this is a 2.4 gigahertz right wireless standard is ieee 802.11 bgn so of course it has all of the bells and whistles of wi-fi power supply it's 100 to 240 volts right so no worries plug it into a 110 outlet or uh, 220 no worries for the security it supports uh, wpa you know all the traditional psk wpa2 um, encryption I noticed it doesn't have a WPS, right? Like you just plug, you just press it and pair it. It doesn't have that. It says that uh, power consumption of this is just around 3.57 watts. So it's really, really low. Again, it has two external antennas, right? We're gonna use that. All right, well, that's about it. I'm going to plug it in right now on an outlet. You have to plug it in into that outlet closer to your Wi-Fi original router first at least set it up and once you set it up you know we'll check if the wi-fi capability or the wi-fi signal of this is stronger than my existing one all right i'm gonna do that right now and i'll be right back we're now gonna download and install the application so just head to the uh, google play store right so again if you do have iphones you know just go to your store but right now um, I'm using an Android myself, so just type Mi Home or Mi Home in your Google Play Store and um, hit search. Now it's gonna show it right away, but you can of course, you know, just simply type Mi Home and press enter to show all of the um, results there. It's just the same. So just tap that Xiaomi Home and click install. All right, so now it's installed. Just go ahead and open the app. Of course, in the very uh, in the very beginning, we don't have um, you know an account for it, so it will actually ask you to create an account, right? Now, this is really important. You have to select China. So, as you can see, initially it recommended Singapore because of probably IP address and region, but make sure you select the Chinese mainland, right, for the China for it to work. So, let's look for the Chinese mainland here. Okay, here it is. So again make sure it's chinese mainland um next go next uh these are just optional you don't really have to do this stuff so you can just go ahead and click next and this is now the page all right you're now gonna have to add your own um account because it just asks you for the region as you can see on the top it says chinese mainland but we're not signed in yet we have to sign in now, if you do have you know an account then just go ahead and sign in on that but i don't so i have to create one now it's philippines by default but this is just for the account so it's okay you don't need to change this to chinese or whatever so i'm gonna type my email address here real quick The email address is kind of like registered now. You're just gonna put your password, right? So just create your own password. Now it's gonna notify you for the email, as you can see, Xiaomi Corporation. So you can just jump into your email and verify or activate your account. All right, so it's now activated. We can use that to sign in. All right, so as you can see, it's now signed 
in. Now it's gonna ask you to turn on the Bluetooth for a nearby device. I believe it's using a, a Bluetooth um, technology to communicate to each other, uh, especially on the location. So make sure that we approve that for the location. All right, now that we're signed in, we're gonna detect our me by making sure that you allow it on the permission, all right, for the location. Now, if it's not allowed on the location, it might have some problems with communicating with the device, like it might not detect it or something. I actually ran into some problem earlier. So make sure that under the permission, you allow it for the location because it's gonna detect um, if it's the one near to you, or if it's the one closest to you. So just allow that and then um, try, uh, automatically it will try to detect. All right, you see on the upper right corner, there's a little tab there. That's that. It says it's detecting the Xiaomi already due to the location. You enable the location. So after detecting, it will pair itself to the mobile and it's going to ask you uh, to connect it to the Wi-Fi, right? So right now we're just going to connect um, to my own Wi-Fi here. Okay, now this is my Wi-Fi. The name of it is just Huawei 2.4 and let's try to connect it. All right, we got it connected to my Huawei 2.4 gig now. So let's see if it will um, connect. That is my Converge router. Um, if you probably have some Converge users out there, you will notice that it's transmitting two type of wireless. One 2.4 gigahertz and another one 5 gig. Now, um, this device is not supporting 5 gig. You will actually see it. It's saying it's not supporting 5 gig, just 2.4. It's, it's, it's okay. No worries for that. So it's now connected to the device. It's just trying to check the internet right now. A living room here, it's just some setup. It's just for the name. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, rename device. Um, let's get started. Now this is like how you manage if you want to manage the device itself. So let's click get started here. So here you will see right away, it says Wi-Fi roaming, name, password. Everything is still on the default. We haven't changed anything yet but the, the connected device is still zero because we haven't connected anything yet. We're still connected to our own Wi-Fi, right? So I'm gonna get out on this one because it's saying signal source connection failed. I mean, I'm gonna get out this, this one and try to connect my mobile phone to that. So you will see there's a Huawei or the same name with an underscore plus. That's the Xiaomi device. Let's actually um, run a speed test real quick first on my own so we can compare the speed if it's actually gonna be better. So this is the speed on my own Wi-Fi, right? So I'm not yet connected to the Xiaomi. I'm still connected directly to my router. Let's see the speed here. All right, so it's getting 67, 67 for download speed and upload. So that's pretty fine. Let's now switch to the Xiaomi one. That's the Huawei 2.4, the underscore plus. All right, just put the same password. It's gonna use all default one or the same thing, right? Same name, just adding underscore plus, but the same password. So that's the good thing about it. You don't need to configure it right away. All right, we're now connected. Let's go ahead and run a speed test. Let's verify though, if we're really connected to that device. So let's go to the home and you see it's now a green, it has now a green check there and it says I'm connected with my IP address. That's my mobile phone, so connected device one. Let's go ahead and pull up the speed test here. Run a speed test. Okay, again, we're testing the speed uh, while I'm connected directly to the Xiaomi, now my own um, Wi-Fi. Now this is interesting, because as you can see, it's picking around 30, right? Around, it's, it's as if it's capped on 30 the latency is good 3 uh, ms that's still nice but the speed is somewhat capped on 30 and i'm not using a 30 mbps connection i'm using 75 as you can see earlier so this is half of the speed that we're getting earlier it's actually a little bit slower all right i haven't um relocated or anything yet so they're now here. I'm gonna switch again and go back to my original Wi-Fi and run a speed test real quick again. See, maybe my speed went down. Let's see. It did not, all right. So my speed is actually still fast, you know, still around 70, but the Xiaomi is showing slower. 
like half of the speed. I don't know why, but it's still connected. I mean, you know, it's it's not that super slow, but it's half of the actual speed of my internet provider. So that's a bummer. But this is an extender, not really like um, supposed to be to make uh, your connection faster. It's an extender. So if you if you're not reaching the Wi-Fi signal uh, anymore in a certain point of your house, that's the purpose of it. All right. I went up to our second floor where uh, the Wi-Fi is pretty poor and they're having kind of like the same signal right now because I reckon they're still located in the same thing. Right. So again, I haven't really moved the Xiaomi yet and it's, it's still downstairs next to my um, desk right next to my uh, router so let me just run a really quick speed test here and then what i'm gonna do next is unplug that xiaomi one put it on uh, our second floor socket you know if we do have a, a power socket there and I'm, I'm gonna plug it there at least that's gonna give a coverage on the room right on the upstairs so if your wi-fi signal is pretty low upstairs or on some points of your house then if you plug it there it's gonna extend it there all right so that's the main purpose now if you notice again the speed is really low compared to my actual um, wi-fi it's just around 20 right now let me see if i can switch back to my original one and see if the speed is still faster despite of the signal being a little bit lower signal of the huawei plus or the xiaomi is actually better if you notice it's full bar my own wi-fi is just um short of one bar but if you run some speed test here um it shows that it's still faster even though the wi-fi is not full it's not one bar right it's three bars so it's still beating the xiaomi a little bit faster now for the speed itself i don't know what's happening to the xiaomi it could be some settings i'm gonna need to uh, configure that um you know but right now out of the box right if you unbox this xiaomi wi-fi extended pro or extender pro um, it's claiming 300 mbps but it's not giving me that right away it's just giving me 30 and 20 25 mbps so just you know just keep that in your mind that's all for today guys thanks so much for watching click the like button if you like this video comment down below what are your thoughts on this product do you think it's good or it's you know unnecessary just go ahead and put your comments down below subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet but guys thanks so much for watching stay safe and see you on my next one peace